gonna bring you to Little Gilin. But before we go there, we had a stop over here in Jurong East MRT to have brunch. I'm having some Filipino dish right now. I have daeng, mongo, and beef bulalo. Actually, there's not a lot of uh, food courts here in Singapore that has Filipino dishes, so I'm very happy that we had a stop over here. And I actually want to eat at Jollibee. They have Jollibee here, but the queue is very long because it's the weekend. Now, as what I mentioned earlier, we will be bringing you to Little Gilin, and let's all find out if it does look like Gilin, China. So stay tuned! We just got down at Bukit Gombak and this is the north-south line or red line. From here we're gonna be walking for like uh, eight minutes uh, going to Little Gilin and thank god it's not raining but it's very sunny so if the weather is like this of course don't forget to bring your water, put some sunblock on and bring your umbrella. Let's go! We have finally reached Little Gilin and they put barriers. I think last time people can go there, take pictures, picnic or you know just chill. But because maybe there's a lot of people who are visiting this place, they started to put these barriers. But it's still beautiful guys and I read that this mountain right, people used to climb there. There was like a forest trail where you can climb there but in 2006 there was a... Um, landslide so they have to close it it's pretty cool we are at the other side of the lake and I actually read that this place is called little gilin because it has a resemblance of the granite rock formation in gilin china and guys i also read that there's um there's a lot of ghost stories here because few people died in this place like a group of friends went here for swimming and some of them drowned and also um, when this was still a quarry uh, some of the workers died so yeah they said in the evening you can hear ghosts creeping here I don't know if it's true but yeah it sounds creepy <laughs> He's waving. Oh, he's there. He's going down. He's going down. Guys, we saw one guy who went up the hill and people are not allowed to do that actually. So there were police officers and firefighters who actually uh, came to rescue him because they were calling him like they were screaming bro bro but they cannot he cannot hear them but later he went down and he actually said sorry because he was wearing headsets maybe he just went up there you know to chill and relax I was really scared I thought he was suicidal and he's gonna jump so everything is good now but that was one scene <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my little Gillen vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed our very short visit in that 
park it's actually not really a hiking park like you know Pungol waterway park or in handhide quarry but it's a really cute and beautiful park it's actually one of the most instagrammable places that i have visited here in singapore now if you know of any places that i have not explored or visited yet then please drop a comment in the comment section below and yes that's it for now thank you so much again for watching don't forget to give this video a like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you still haven't and you can also turn on the bell notification for my future vlogs bye for now